Switch off. Hey there everyone. This is Brandon and I am the blind fish keeper. Welcome back. So this is just a week after Aquashella Orlando. I had a blast. This was my very first fish event ever and it was pretty incredible for me. I met so many people and I can't even go through the list of them all. I'd be here too long. But I wanted to show everyone what I picked up while I was at Aquashilla. So this is my 55 gallon grow out tank. The one that I previously did the little three part series on how to set it up as a blind person. As you can see, everybody's doing pretty good. I hope everybody's out. I hope everybody's moving around. I hope I'm actually filming the right tank. I'm kidding. I just hope I've got the tank in the frame. Now I've added a couple of things. One is the Madagascar lace plant that is behind the lily or rather the lotus. And the other is the plant that I wanted to talk about that I got at Aquashilla, which is uh, an African fern or bulbitis. Very cool. It's a epiphyte plant. which means that its roots do not get buried into the ground. They attach themselves to rock or wood or some type of structure. And I got my bulbitis to stick to uh, some rock. I picked it up from Dustin at Aquashilla. And what I thought was one big rhizome actually ended up being five or six. Although they're all very very well grown out, nice and tall. So I stuck a couple of rhizomes in this tank. And I'm gonna do something I haven't done yet. I'm gonna try and film and get my hand in the aquarium at the same time. So hopefully this isn't a disaster. So this right here, if I'm getting it, is the bull bitus. And it is a pretty sturdy plant from the feel of it. It's a stem with uh, kind of sawtooth jagged leaves coming off of it. And it grows just like, you know, a typical terrestrial fern.
very slow grower and I'm told that the roots or I'm sorry the color of the fern uh, varies depending on the amount of light exposure so lower light the plant is a darker green higher light uh, you get a lot lighter green color very cool though like I said I stuck a couple of the rhizomes here in this aquarium Here I am coming back to the rainbow tank, which has been making quite a few appearances in my previous videos. But I went on and put the remaining water fern um, rhizomes in this tank. I just attached them to a little rock fragment of dragon stone and wedged them in there uh, kind of in the middle to the left side in and amongst some Anubias and an Amazon sword and from what I told it looks pretty good This plant seems to be really cool and is supposed to be pretty easy to care for. They get really big and as you can tell this tank is already starting to get filled up with plants. And again I don't have any CO2 running. Um, just high water flow and I've got a red green blue uh, I think it is a I can't remember what the type of light is but it's just a budget light and then a regular white budget LED of the same brand that's providing the only light in this aquarium but I have them running for about 11 hours a day and all the plants seem to be doing really well again the bulbitis has been in here for a, a week today So that is one of my treasures from Aquashilla. And I will be right back with the second one. All right, here I am in front of my little five and a half gallon. And I know in previous videos I said I wasn't sure if I was going to get another beta or not. But as we were leaving Aquashilla, we stopped at a table and saw this little guy. So now he is back here. And doing well. I 
hopefully for a long time to come. And he's sharing this tank with a few, I can't remember if they're Cardinals or Neon ter uh, Tetras. But there's four of them in there. And also one lone little Harlequin Las Rasbora. The only one that's left of a school of about nine. And hopefully he is in the frame and making an appearance. But yeah, so again, I had a blast. Thank you to everyone that I met and that took the time to shake my hand and take some pictures and talk to me for a minute. And this is going to do it for this week. If you like what you're seeing, please take time and hit the like button and subscribe and share it out for me. Hit the notification bell. And as always, I will catch you in the next one.